Hi everyone, we're going to be talking about what is a CTLSO brace. And a CTLSO is any TLSO, which we've talked about in some of our other videos, but I'll just recap it real quick here. A TLSO is a brace basically from here on your body down to your lap if you're sitting, okay? So that's a TLSO. They can either be prefabricated or they can be custom, okay? Anytime that I've seen a CTLSO, that is usually a custom TLSO with either a custom extension up onto the head and neck, okay? Or there is an off the shelf portion of it, okay? Sometimes you can use a sternal occipital mandibular immobilizer, okay? <laughs> and that can be an off the shelf component or you can have some sort of a neck piece that uh, is off the shelf as well. I can tell you that if you want to stop rotation, okay, of the cervical spine, it's my experience that you have to come up and hold above the ears here with a CTLSO so the person doesn't do that. They would have to rotate at their lower spine or at their some other way, okay? But if you're just trying to stop flexion in this area, okay, a CTLSO is a TLSO that comes all the way up underneath the chin and might just hold somebody in the back of their head. There are different variations of this and maybe we'll do some videos for you on that, okay? But a CTLSO is a brace that involves the neck, usually part of the head, and will go all the way down to above somebody's lap. And so why would you use that? It sounds like a pretty formidable brace and it is. One of the reasons why you would use a CTLSO is a superior fracture that goes beyond the, the heights of a TLSO brace. If you can, you try to not give someone a CTLSO if you can help it, but sometimes you have to, and then you have to just realize this is a temporary thing. It's not a forever brace. Okay, so I hope that information helped you. Feel free to ask us if you have any questions, and good luck.